What's up, everybody? Welcome to another movie spoiler review. I know it's been a while, but I am back with, as you've seen the title, Don't Worry, Darling. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great film. Um, shout out to Olivia Wilde for directing uh, such a great film. I thought it was awesome. The, t the trailers, you know, definitely captivated me and like what's going on here. You know, you know, something is wrong. It's not as it seems. You know, uh, Florence Pugh, great actress. I love seeing her in all types of work. She's awesome. It's based on her. It focuses on her character and her relationship with Harry Styles. Harry Styles and what's going on in this world. Uh, Harry Styles. I might have seen him in one other film. I believe it was a war film. Um, he was pretty good in that. Uh, I'm sure he's a great actor. I can't say he's not a bad actor. He's definitely coming to his own. Um, I look forward to seeing more of what he can do, especially if he's going to be in the Marvel Universe as Eros, uh, Thanos' brother, if you've seen Eternals. So hopefully you'll have a bigger role there. Um, you have Chris Pine, who I like Chris Pine, but I didn't care for his character. I just felt like he was there as the person that headed this thing that he created. Um, I would have preferred his wife, who was uh, played by Gemma Chan, to be the main, to be his character who would have ran things. And he, I don't even think he was needed. I could have just had Gemma Chan. I, I felt like she was more interesting of a character, even with the little that she had to do. I would have preferred, like my friend said, it would have been focused on her and not him. He was just your typical, I have this vision of this world and blah, blah, blah that I've created and you all here are a part of it. Like, I don't care for that. I think it would have been, it could have been expanded on of a role and even more interesting if it was more of his wife, the, like a female perspective on handling things. I don't, I don't know. That's just the way I, I kind of felt like it could have been better. I just felt like, from what I assumed in the trailers, like his, his role was minor. Um, anybody could have played that role. But, you know, it is what it is. I like Chris Pine. I'm not hating on him. Work is work. But I would have wanted more from him, especially with what I know, you know, his caliber of an, uh, uh, I don't want to say celebrity, but of work, you know, acting and whatnot. So, but other than that, it was basically, you know, Florence Pugh. She has this lifestyle that every, every one of the wives, they just keep doing and doing. And, you know, the husbands go off to work. They don't know what they're doing. It's confidential they come back you know while the husband is away cleaning cooking and all that hanging out doing ballet the you know, husband comes back you know they feed him and do the you know marry thing and what whatnot so i just felt like that i i don't know how in reality how they can just enjoy just doing the same routine but i guess if they're living a life of luxury you don't really think about that um but that stuff like that i look at i'm like uh, i don't think that's the life for me but for her, you know, that was something that was a routine, and eventually she started getting not flashbacks or flashbacks of something that kept she kept seeing, and you know she would you could see that she's questioning what's going on, but she doesn't think nothing of it until there's a party, and one of the women apparently she went off to where you're not supposed to go off in the town, and eventually she realized that everything that's around them is not real, you know the husbands are lying to them. And she gets suicidal, it's shown, and Florence Pugh's character, she's, you know, suspicious of what's going on. I mean, her and her character, I think Jack, uh, Harry Styles' character is Jack. They have a loving relationship, it seems, and very sexual and intense. And there's a scene where she's, he's fingering her, if I can say that on YouTube. Florence Pugh's character and Chris Pine's character is just watching, and she's like, at first she's like, Nervous or oh my god, he's here. I'm you're doing this, but she's like into it. And I, I don't know, for some reason, I thought that was gonna lead into something big, but it didn't. Like, sometimes we wonder about scenes, like, is that not necessary? Was there something more to it? But I guess that's for a lot of things. But, anyways, that's the relationship that I guess they're just trying to show with Florence um, and Harry Styles' uh, character and that love, which you see later on in the film. It's not what it's made out to be and she starts questioning things especially when she saw a plane crash which you didn't see anything blow up but she's like it disappeared pretty much and she's like tries to figure it out when she takes the bus ride far out and the bus ride i'm not going that way she's like why wouldn't you help the plane just crash she's like i'm not going that way so already she's more suspicious and she goes out there and she sees this thing this dome that's when she touches it stuff happens and she wakes up home like how did i get here and harry styles his character he's making food and messing up um, but he's obviously, he's, he knows she did something she shouldn't do because she's gonna, 
reveal to herself why he doesn't want to re- her to reveal, which is we find out that Chris Pine's character somehow runs this business, this thing where you're you know you get I guess information, you speak to them, you listen to what it is that he's offering, and you get these eye devices that you put on, and you're like start your memories or something, your mind, or you're in, into this simulation of this world. And he apparently, Florence Pugh, who was realistically a nurse in real life, I don't know if I said that right, she was <laughs> she was actually a nurse who um, Harry Styles' character, he wasn't as cute or whatever, or kept together in the real world, you know, they try to make him look busted up, but he still looked like a handsome dude, even trying to make him look busted up. But he apparently he lost his job and he felt broke and... I guess he found this opportunity to try to live this world where he was not struggling and he can bring something to Florence Pugh and he apparently did something to her where she he laid under the bed he has IV for her and they just live this simulation world and only he at times leaves the simulation world I guess all the guys that are involved have to leave it for a specific reason I guess to check up on the IV for like their partner and whatnot and just other stuff that they gotta deal with but she's just in the bed in this world and you know pretty much realistically uh, or I can say realistically but in the real world she would be gone she would be considered missing you know she's not going to her job you know you don't see that but you would think that okay so if he has her trapped in the room in the bed in the simulation which she doesn't get out of the real world obviously she's missing presumed dead or so because no one's seen her so he thinks that was the best for them and he put he had put them into the simulation, which only he can get out of for whatever reason. It's, it's not explained, but it's said. And she realizes that, you know, she gets uh, she gets captured again because she tells, uh, she realizes Chris Pine's character is wrong and stuff came back. And they try to, I, I believe it was after she touched that, she started to realize more things was wrong. It was like this piece with the glass and it, it awakens you for some reason. I don't know. I didn't like that. Like, it was just like a building with you touch the glass and it just gets you out of the simulation or so or when you're in the world you realize things that are true but um yeah it's it's it was a little confusing with that because in the ending she is escaped from that she does escape from that because she touches it when they're trying to get her and it blacks out the screen and they hear her breathe like she just woke up so she ended up waking up in the real world but why didn't she wake up in the real world last time that's what I was confused about but uh yeah, so she apparently kills Harry Styles, her husband, the character, because he's trying to, like, he thought they fixed her because when after she admitted that she knows everything was wrong, she tried to blow it up to the wife characters, the wives. And Chris Pine is like, she's mental, she's going insane, you know, we're trying to help her. And they eventually steal her away to, like, redo everything to her, her memory. And she turned out to be back to what she was, but then something happened again where it just reminded her like this isn't real and that's when everything happened and Harry Styles is trying to like contain her crushing her and she like kills him in that simulated world and then when you die in a simulated world you die in real life so she eventually kills him in the simulation and in the real world and she trying to she's trying to escape and trying to capture her um, the only character of the wives that knew was Olivia Wilde which I liked which you kind of get an idea that she knew what was going on but for her, she wanted to live in that simulated world because she could be with her children. I don't recall ever seeing her husband, if she had a husband in that, but that was what it was for her. And she eventually tells, like, I know, to Florence Pugh's character, I know everything was is fake. I just wanted to live this world, but you got to go because they want to kill you. Um, but if she escapes, they know where she lives, and they, she, they would go after her in the real world from what I took it to, so... You don't know in the end, like, does she eventually, you know, when she wakes up, is she going to escape to explain what happened? Or are they waiting for her and she's going to die anyway? You can play with that ending as much as you want, you know, how you want it to end. Because it just ends with her just waking up and you hear, like, a gasp and it's, you know, black. But um, I really liked it. It was just one of those, you know, simulations that's not real. And I liked the way they handled it, that it was just by this device. And Harry Styles' character was part of this group that they control the the people in their their life that they wanted to just live this world aside from having to step out here and there to the real world which you never see that part um only when it was the flashback of you know the actual life of Florence Pugh's character with him before he did the whole simulation thing 
Um, but I really enjoyed it. I would watch it again. I, I haven't bought DVDs in a while, Blu-rays in a while, but that's something that I would add to my collection. There's so much that I have to collect again that I haven't been. It's really just the Marvel films that I haven't been collecting. That's usually what I started to collect at the end of my DVD collection, but I kind of stopped after a while because it is expensive and space, but I want I would add that to my collection because it's just one of those films that I really enjoyed and enjoy and would want to see it again as a writer, you know, as an actor and filmmaker. It's just one of those things that, like Inception, if you know about Inception, it's about dream, what's fake, but feels real and all that. Like, I love stuff like that and... Pretty soon I'm going to talk about my new film, Project Natalia. Once I film next week, I'm going to add another scene. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to talk about it and have some clips for you or even screenshots and just discuss this project that's coming out. Um, it kind of reminds me of that in a way, but it's, that's not what it's focusing on, on simulations of a fake world. It's just the idea of this device that you can use it, but it's usually used for like holographic stuff, you know, futuristic in a way <clears throat> for, you know, stuff for my characters where he works at but anyways i'll talk about that later so prepare for project natalia updates but yeah uh don't worry darling i really enjoyed it a lot if you haven't seen it again check it out why are you here getting spoiled but i can't blame you because i like spoiling myself but i didn't spoil myself for this film uh but yeah no i would say if you like inception if you like inception if you like um uh I don't want to say mystery, but something along the lines of, like, that's intriguing, like, what's happening, what's going on, I guess you can say it's type of mystery. Uh, I would say check it out, it's a good film, um, besides all the, uh, besides all the back, uh, behind the scenes drama with this film, I, which has nothing to do with me, I don't care, I, I still wanted to see the film no matter what, and I, I think it's really good, and I wish the marketing was better in which there wasn't behind the scenes drama so really effective but that might have helped i mean i think i saw something where it actually did well in the box office this weekend so yeah again check it out if that's something you're looking for you know forward to as far as a new film within the next few weekends or within the next few weeks in general just check it out um, there's another film pearl which i was going to see and have a review for but i haven't seen it i think i'm gonna just wait till it's rentable I did like X, as you can see, I have X that I did a review for and spoke about. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have for Don't Worry Darling. If you, again, you're looking for something to see, that's what I recommend for this weekend or going forward while it's out because it was a really entertaining and interesting film. You know, a great cast and great characters, and I think it's something that is pretty unique. Not 100% unique, but in its ways, it is unique. I mean, I've seen stuff like that before. Obviously, like I said, there's Inception, which doesn't go on the trope of, is this real? It's more along the lines of, we know what we can do. If you get lost in it, you're going to think it's real, like when you go into limbo. But if you've seen Inception, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I'm going off. But yeah, continue to watch my stuff. If you haven't seen the rest of my things, I do appreciate it. And I do have more to come. So thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Don't Worry Darling. Keep it professional. Let's have a conversation. I will respond. And again, thank you so much. Until next time. Later.